Hi, it's Paul from Evan Sky Studios here again, and today we're going to be doing video 5 in the series showing how Sable can be used to create an RPG audio game. So, in today's video, we're going to be demonstrating how you can use Sable to create a dungeon style map with corridors or passageways, small rooms leading off of these, and also how you can link two maps together. So, that being said, let's load Sable and begin the demonstration. Enter. Sable Engine Alpha 1.59. Sky Studios. Sable Pre Alpha by Evan Sky Studios. Main menu, please select. Okay, so let's start by loading the project. Load project. Please select project. Sable demo. Please select map to load. Map 1. Opening map 1. And we're back on the map where we left the last video, just outside the inn. So I'm going to bring up the game menu and we're going to create a new map. Game menu. Please select an option. New map. Warning. This will close the current map and any changes. Yes. Uh, it's just uh, basically warning me to uh, that I haven't map. saved anything, that but will be that's fine. Escape. Please enter a reference and for the map. I'm going to call the map, map. Uh, or give the map Two. a reference enter. of map Please enter the map length you would like your map to have. Uh, three. Its zero. length is going to be 30. 30. Enter. Please enter the map width you would like your map to 3. Zero. Width will be 30. 30. Enter. Please enter the map height you would like 1. And height will be 1. Enter. Please enter. select enter. map type. Now, last time we created an outdoors map. Um, if you remember this from video one, we s it then asked us to select a terrain type to fill the map with. We selected grass and it filled the whole map with grass terrain tiles. This time we're going to create an indoors map. indoors map. Now, the only difference here is instead of it asking us what terrain type to fill the map with, it'll ask us what wall type to fill the map with. So let's uh, demonstrate this. Please select wall type to fill map with metal, organic, Stone. Okay, so we're going to select a stone wall tile. Music. Please select yeah. back. M Mysterious Glen. That'll Ambiences. Do. Tense Tone 4. That'll do. Generating new map. Okay, so it's created this map that we've just asked it to. The main difference from video 1, however, is instead of filling it with, like I say, terrain tiles, it's filled it with stone wall tiles. But all the walls are deactivated, so I can walk through the walls, and it will just announce that I'm on a stone wall if I am. Stone. Stone. As I walk along, stone. it just says stone, stone because there's stone walls everywhere. Now, if I want to create a passageway, let's bring up the terrains menu. Terrain menu. Uh, Please let's select, select tile terrain type. type. Dirt. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a path which is going to run uh, north to south uh, of dirt terrain types. You can hear me laying those terrain types. If I stop there, I can walk north up this, um, and I'm on the path. But if I walk to the left, I'll be on a stone tile. Stone. Uh, I'll walk back to the path to the right. If I walk to the right, there'll be another stone path, a uh, stone wall to the right. Stone. There you go. Now, if I activate the walls. Walls activated. Uh, now I can walk north and south, but if I try and walk to the left, there'll be a wall there. Or if I try and walk to the right, a wall there too. Um, so, let's deactivate the walls. Walls deactivated. Um, and let's say we wanted to create a room just to the south of this path. Let's uh, make the path a little bit longer. Um, and stone. Let's. Stone. Uh, Stone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the brush, brush size. size set to three. Brush size set to three. Um, I've set it to Bru brush size set to five. Uh, set it to five. Now, when I lay the terrain types, it will lay a grid of five by five dirt tiles. So let me just do that. And now, if I act, brush size walls, set to five. Brush size set to five. Uh, let me just brush brush size set to one. one. Uh, walls activated. Okay, so we've now activated the walls. Now, if I walk to the right. Um, there's the room wall to the right. Uh, I can go to the south, or I can go to the north of the room. And uh, there you go, I've created a 5x5 five five room. If I walk along this wall, I should hear the passageway to the north. There you go, there's a wind sign, uh, sound which signifies there's a passage to the north. Um, so if I follow that passageway, um, so there you go, there's a passageway with a room at the bottom. Let's say I wanted to create a passageway to the right, I could just deactivate walls the deactivated. walls again. And I could create a passageway which goes uh, east to west. Let's activate the walls again. Walls activated. And uh, now again, I can't walk north and south in this passageway, but if I keep walking left, I'll come to the main passageway. And there you go, you heard uh, a sound signifying there was a, a space to the north and south. If I come south and then go north, you'll hear a wind to the right, which signifies there's a passageway to the right. Like so. Um, you don't have to use wind sounds for passage sounds. Again, you can select your own sounds, but it's just uh, to demonstrate how that works. 
So now let's link this map with the other map. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring up uh, our object menu. Objects. And Please select objective door. Going to create a door which is going to lead from map to map. Please enter door name edit type and text. Uh, we're going to call it C A E A V D O O R. Door. door enter. Please enter a description for the door edit type uh, and text. We won't worry about giving it a description. Escape. Please edit. select type map which the door will lead to. Uh, map so one leads to map one. Please select door cursor sound. This okay. is the sound played when so the player reaches door. This is basically the sound that will play when the player reaches the door. Now I'm just going to have this as a door sound, but the nice thing with being able to select your own sounds is you could. It doesn't have to be a door. You could make it be a portal, or I don't know. It might be a staircase that leads uh, from from one one place to another. Whatever it is, the the fact you can add your own sounds obviously creates a lot of possibilities. But let's just have this as a door. Please sound. select sound that will play when the player goes through the door. Open tent flap. And let's not do that. Open wood door one. Uh, that will do. Would you like the door to appear on the player map? Uh, we're going to say yes. Yes. Would you like it to only show once the player has discovered the door? Yep, yes. we only want it to show on the player's map once they've actually found the doors. We don't want them just bringing up their map and seeing where this door is until they found Does it. Does the door start in a locked state? Let's say yes. Yes. Please enter text that will be spoken when the player tries to open the lock. L O C A E E lock. Please select sound that will play when the player tries lock door. That'll do. Please select sound that will play when the player unlocks the door. Unlock sound. Again, you can select your own sounds here, so again, it doesn't have to be a door unlock sound. Please cave door name edit. Key to cave door. Type and text. Enter. If you would like the key to have a description. Please enter the description here. Edit. Type and text. Escape. Edit. And it's generated a key, so we can now find a mechanic to get the player the key, so they can use this door. But anyway, let's place the door. Warning: This will close the current and map and any. Yes. This door will now take you to the selected map. Please place the exit. Once placed, you will be returned back to the originally placed door. Now okay. find a new location for the exit and place using the return key. And it's transported us back to the uh, map one with the grass. So let's, um, we can use our move to location key. Move to, enter X coordinate edit one. Uh, we want to move to coordinate X enter, eight. Enter Y coordinate edit one. Y one fifteen. Five, 15 enter, and enter Z one. one. This should take us just north of the bridge. Enter, move edit, to X eight. eight. Y fifteen. Z one. Bridge. And there we go, as as expected. So let's um, make this uh, cave door entrance to south bridge. of the bridge. There's the southern mouse border. Let's place the door here. Would you like to set the exit different attributes to the entrance? I will say no. No. Exit placed. Returning to previous location. Return to originally placed door. And it's returned us to the uh, to the first to the cave map with the passageway here. So you can see I'm in the passageway cave door. And there's the cave door. Although this is locked, in edit game mode you can walk through any door whether they're locked or not. Just, uh, in edit game mode you've got a master key to everything, so let's just walk through the door and it should take us to map one. Warning. This will close uh, yeah, the curtain. Yes. Uh, you wouldn't normally get that in play game mode, it's just an edit game function to make sure you save changes before you uh, exit maps. Um, and there we go, I'm back on this. Let's just create a path Terrain menu. which Asphalt. leads from the bridge. Uh, bridge. Leaving all the bridge. way down to this cave door that we just created. Door. And let's call this And there we go. Um, we created a, cave. A, a cave door which will lead cave door. directly to that dungeon map we created. Again, that was a very simple dungeon we obviously created. I didn't want to make this a hugely long demo, making it complex with passages off passageways. But hopefully that gives you an idea of at least how dungeon maps could be created and also how to link two maps together. That's where I'm going to leave today's demo. I hope you've enjoyed it. As ever, if you want to stay up to date on videos when they're released, you can always subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you want to stay up to date on news and updates, then... Uh, uh, check out our social media links which are in the video description. As ever, I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. I've enjoyed making it. 